Donald Trump announced a bunch of controversial pardons tonight. We're also hearing a lot about preemptive pardons too these days. Uh, the president reportedly planning on pardoning himself and his family members to prevent any future prosecutions uh, that they might face for any and all crimes. But it's not just his own family members whose alleged crimes he wants to cover up. The Saudi crown prince may also be in line for some Trump clemency, with the Washington Post reporting, quote, the US government is weighing a request to declare crown prince Mohammed bin Salman immune from a federal lawsuit accusing him of targeting for assassination, a former top intelligence officer who could disclose damaging secrets about the prince's ascent to power. And the Post adds, a State Department recommendation could also lead to the dismissal of the prince as a defendant in other cases recently filed in the United States, including ones accusing him of directing the death and dismemberment of dissident journalist Jamal Khashoggi in 2018. Gotta protect MBS. The Trump love affair with Saudi Arabia has really been something to behold. And to be fair, he didn't hide why he loved the Saudis, even back when he was running for president. Saudi Arabia, and I get along great with all of them. They buy apartments from me, they spend 40 million. And am I supposed to dislike them? I like them very much. Remember when the GOP and Fox News lost their minds after Barack Obama bowed to the Saudi king? Well, Trump not only bowed to the Saudi king as well, he made his first foreign trip as president to Saudi Arabia, where he went sword dancing with the Saudi royal family and is now trying to protect the Saudi crown prince from the US court system. Less commander in chief and America first, more errand boy for a vicious foreign monarchy. Trump has form here. He went out of his way to protect MBS after the crown prince, according to the CIA, ordered the assassination of US resident and Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi in 2018. Don't take my word for it. I saved his backside, Trump told journalist Bob Woodward, referring to the crown prince. MBS has been emboldened by having the president of the United States in his corner as he commits his crimes. Since the killing of Khashoggi, he's cracked down on human rights activists and dissidents at home like Lujain al-Hathlul. This is a Saudi woman who just wanted to drive her car inside the kingdom, and she's on trial right now for terrorism. So here's a thought. Perhaps the United States government, rather than trying to grant immunity to the Saudi crown prince from a US court, should be trying to get the Saudi crown prince to grant immunity to Lujain al-Hathlul from a Saudi court. That would be nice. Hi, I'm Mehdi Hassan. Thanks for checking out our channel on YouTube. You can see more of the Mehdi Hassan show by clicking on any of the videos on this screen and make sure you subscribe below to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. Thank you for watching.